Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. In this week's episode of Diso Does, we're building a birdhouse. Well, it is really important to start off with some sort of a plan. I did a little bit of research, some drawing, and I've got a bit of a design here ready to go. Because my miter saw isn't a sliding miter saw, this board is a bit too wide to cut, so I'm using my circular saw and setting it up on the edge of my workbench. I tried to freehand it on this first one and it didn't go so well, so I decided to use my speed square and create a little bit of a guide. When I went to the big hardware store to buy this board originally, there was not a whole lot to choose from because this was during the height of the pandemic. And I think a lot of people were considering outdoor projects like birdhouses or planter boxes. And this cedar is really, really great for any type of project that's gonna be living outside in the elements. Now, when I did make the purchase, there wasn't, like I said, a lot of selection. And I did notice that there was quite a bit of a curvature on this side of the board. I don't know if you can really see that too awful well, but it's definitely worse over here. Now, when I brought it home over time, it's dried out and the curve is actually the whole length of the board. It's not nearly as bad on this side as on this side. Now, I didn't mind buying it at first because I knew that I was gonna be cutting it down to six inches. This is a one by eight board, so it's a uh, little bit under eight but i was going to be cutting an inch and a half or so off of every single one of these things but since it's gotten worse uh well we're just going to see how it turns out my recommendation there is that if you're going to be buying some boards for a project like this not simple two by fours or lumber but an appearance board or something a little bit nicer you might consider going to a local store or a a, a sawmill or something like that to buy your wood because even though it's going to maybe be a little bit more expensive and potentially slightly less convenient. You know, is this worth it? Uh, I mean, I'm going to still build the birdhouse, but I think it's going to be a little rustic. I'm going to get my, my PPE on to stay safe and, and I'm going to start ripping these boards down to six inches. So ripping this board to six inches wide and removing the worst section definitely made it a little bit better, but it still has a curve to it, but I'm gonna use it anyway. Even though I made a cutlass, I still missed a few cross cuts, so I'm setting up my table saw here to do those. This is a mistake, and I don't recommend it at all. You can perform cross cuts on a table saw, but you really should be using a cross cut sled. It will support the workpiece on both sides, so that doesn't happen. I didn't want to try to cut one of these on my miter saw, because you might remember this moment from a few weeks ago. On the second pass, I decided to support it a little bit better and think about how I might be binding it onto the blade and it went better, but still not recommended. I think once you have all of your pieces, it's good to do a little rough assembly to make sure that you haven't missed anything or that your design doesn't have some major flaw. 
So right here I have the back piece of my birdhouse. Uh, it's a lot taller than all of the other pieces, so that way I can you know, put a screw or something to be able to mount it. And then um, this is the floor piece. I'm gonna start on this one because uh, I'm gonna be putting it all together with my 18 gauge brad nailer. And I wanna make sure that my shot depth is set right. And these parts, uh, or if I shoot it from the back into the floor, you're not going to be able to see it. So um, I'm also going to be using some clamps to hold these together instead of trying to like hold it with my hands. Um, some people might think that that is overkill, but my wife watches these videos, so I want her to know that I'm being safe. I purchased the air compressor and the brad nailer really just to do the dining room trim, but I'm so glad that I bought it. It ends up being incredibly useful for all kinds of projects and I'm able to fill up the tires in the cars and do all kinds of other stuff. This is why I'm being safe. If I was holding it like this and I shot that nail in, I, I, I put it on and then I twisted it a little bit and the nail shot out the side. For part of my design, I'm gonna be cutting an angle here. This is the front of the birdhouse. It'll have a hole, and then I'm gonna have an angle like this where the two roof pieces will set. And they'll actually overhang a little bit on the front. So I gotta figure out what that angle is gonna be. Little Pythagorean theorem there. Uh, it's a pretty easy one. I should have probably just known that, but it's been a while since I've been in calculus. Well, I took all the time and effort to move the camera setup back over to the table saw so that I could use it to cut some nice 45 degree angles. I could have done it at the miter saw, I suppose, too. Um, they're not perfect, but hey, uh, you know, it's rustic, yeah. But I forgot to hit the record button, so I just set it up on there and there is a angle slide type thing, miter slide, um, that you can use to cut some nice 45 degree angles or any angles. They have little uh, stops in there, so it's, it's really good at common angles like 45 and 60 and 90. So I got that cut and we're ready to attach it to the front of the birdhouse. It's a little tricky to tell, but there is a slight gap in this front piece, probably from poor measurements or cutting. So I got this little shim uh, you might recognize from a previous video. One of the projects we've been working on recently is replacing the interior doors. Now, we only have two of those downstairs, so I went ahead and did those first. And in the process, we replaced the entire door. I bought slab doors and I planed them down to size and um, I even did the mortise joints for some new hinges. So these are actually, this is actually a hinge from one of the old doors, I thought, when um, I was designing this little birdhouse that this might be a perfect way to you know, recycle something that I already have in order to be able to get in there and clean it out every once in a while. So I'm gonna see if this will attach to these pretty easily. And I'm realizing that it probably would have been a little bit easier if I drilled the hole for the birds to be able to get into it prior to attaching it all. But 
Um, I got a whole saw, so it shouldn't be too big of a deal. I'd like for this to be on the inside so it doesn't rust as much. And of course we want to make it so that it will work, but also that there will be, um, I want it to have like an overlap. So there's no obvious gap at the top. So we're going to play around with this. I'm, I'm probably not going to cut a, a uh, mortise for it, but yeah, I'm definitely not going to do that. The hinges really didn't work perfectly here at all. I went for it and I still actually need to come up with a method to cover up the gap that's created at the top. The reality is, is this type of hinge could never work on the inside. It just is physically impossible to make the two things swing onto each other like that without, you know, defying the laws of basic physics. But it does open. There's just a bit of a gap at the top. So I've got to figure out a way to cover that so that the birds don't get rained on. I think the real thing that I learned here is to just keep going for it. I didn't have perfect stock. I didn't make perfect cuts. I wasn't working perfectly. The design was flawed, but I just kept going. I put it together. It's not the prettiest birdhouse in the world, but I did it. And if I make another one, I'll learn from all of these mistakes and hopefully I'll do a better job. Here's the finished product. I had quite a bit of fun shooting some B-roll and trying to edit it. My wife supplied the amazing paint job. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Maybe you learned a little bit of something and you might try to build your own birdhouse. Good luck.